beautiful turret of Morgan Academy. Not an entirely inappropriate institution for the visitors today. Who are the Dons? And he got that name from school teachers who got together to form the famous club. And of course, the home side, Dundee United, one or two very interesting names in there, including Hamish French. We'll be looking at him in just a, a second. And uh, uh, McAnally, Jim McAnally, he came back into the side last week. So they're beginning to get back to full strength. There's the Aberdeen side. Now, there's been a lot of talk about Willie Miller not being really fully fit. Well, when I pressurised Ian Porterfield about it, he simply said to me, he's playing, and that is that. Well, there he is, Hamish French, who made a stunning debut for United at Ibrox against Rangers, and then, in a freak accident, he twisted during a training session and broke his leg. He is a prospect upon whom Jim McLean positively drools. Well, it's nice to see the referee giving what appears to be a tip to the mascot, and he's Jim McGilvery from Edinburgh. Off we go on an absolutely gorgeous afternoon. The drive up from Glasgow was uh, through stunning Scottish countryside, and now getting into the city of Dundee on this marvellous afternoon, let's hope that the football matches it all. I think it will. We did not see, in all honesty, a marvellous game last week in the Rangers match, but uh, I think this will be different today. That's number four, Grant. Oh, beautiful turning by Hewitt. Look at that control, but he wants to try too much. Ferguson, goal scorer last week, that was untidy. Hewitt. Ooh, hard and unfair free kick. Paul Kinnaird, who meant uh, so much to Dundee United in last Saturday's game. Bowman. Joe Miller. Well, there's a run forward, and I would have thought that was a free kick. Yes, you've got your first look there at number nine, Keith Edwards. The Englishman has scored 200 goals in English football with various clubs, Sheffield United, Hull City and Leeds. Good prospect. Ronick McLeish was following it on. Just too much. <laughs> Touch by Ferguson McInerney. Very good support. And an atrocious finish. Annoyed with himself about that. He'll be right to be too. That is McGuinness, as I say, winning number nine, but playing in that right-back position. Well, they're watching it carefully. I think an unfair challenge on him by French. In his French, signed from Keith for about 50,000 pounds, and a Highland League boy is obviously impressing a lot of people outside of Tanadice as well. Of McGuinness. Faulkner, that was a very good ball indeed, and Edwards couldn't turn on it. Against this United defence is a very rare occasion indeed when a player is allowed two touches Dreadful mistake, McAnally. He's looking for somebody and again, it's a dreadful pass. I mean, as he went forward, 
you could see that he was carefully measuring what the final pass ought to be and I think maybe he just slightly took his eye off the ball Outside, Joe Miller around whom there's still a lot of talk about transfer to the south certainly think that Alec Ferguson who's long been an admirer of him wouldn't mind taking him he wouldn't get him for nothing that's for sure that's a longish one beautifully fired him Gary McGuinness boy he drilled that in well he didn't hesitate took it on the drop and Leighton getting body behind it as well good goalkeeping Bannon went down, but he does get the ball free. Kinnaird needs to be touched back, and it is McAnally. And United, certainly at this stage, about halfway through this first half, have the initiative. Rocking Aberdeen, if ever so slightly. And perhaps if that had fallen to Bannon just behind at the the possibilities of a better strike would have been stronger McKimmy whoops the cliche meant for bet but not an easy ball to get slightly groggy in the past five minutes well there's a brilliant touch I think oh a superb save Billy Thompson playing in his 200th Premier Division game in total and I wonder if he's had any final saves in that I'm sure he has but that's not a bad one either bad one Bowman and not a single United player up. It's McKimmy. Oh. Son, I think, deceiving Gary McGuinness. Oh, given away by Miller. Faulkner. Grant in a very good position. Thompson committed and successful. Now that's a good ball of Ferguson can Tony Cat. Superb tackle by McLeish. And Grant held on to that intelligently until he had somebody on the right and there's a free kick. This is a bad shot. John Hewitt again. Thompson for the second occasion and about a couple of minutes getting the fingertips to it really making sure that may have been rising over the crossbar but a goalkeeper can't take any chances Billy Miller Well, we've had no goal scored. It's about uh, 28 minutes gone in the first half, but some very entertaining play nonetheless. McAnally really taking bet on. That might just be a corner kick, and it is. Better move there by Jim McAnally.
place behind it. Not an easy ball to take. Steering right into the sun. Edwards. Oh, lovely ball there by Nicholas. Hewitt. That will be a booking. A very slow, ponderous tackle. He really was away, and there was no way he was going to let Hewitt pass him. It's curled round, and there was a head of Faulkner trying to go up there. McAnally. Just under 15 minutes to have time, still nothing each. A titanic struggle, if you'll excuse the phrase, for the power and the organisation of midfield. Nobody has won that battle yet. Shoot! Well, it was well worth the try. Yes, got right behind it, Thompson. No difficulty for him. Oh, there's a bad one, Joe Miller. And I think Gary McGuinness is a little upset about that booking. He hasn't quite recovered his equilibrium. Look at that. Very unsure of himself. Thank you very much, said Miller. And again, good goalkeeping by this, this man who really should be the international squad. Two of them going for that. Grant is there and Edwards tries to get up a Nicholas. I think he's asking for a certain amount of support and also suggesting that the two players go for the ball. They should let each other know. Challenges. He really does stick in it with powerful looking player. And there's a chorus. I thought it was going for a corner. It obviously spun viciously. And the Albanese supporters now rolling the side on, having the best spell of this first half. Faulkner. Ooh, Joe Miller. If he'd been in stilts, he would have got that. And there it was, and into the shade, and Thompson, that ball coming out of the sunlight, seemed to confuse him. His first mistake of the day, but he had plenty of support around him. Five minutes to have time. I must say, despite all the excellent plays and good saves, he could do with a goal. Ooh, it's tough there. Oh, oh. Double block, the referee touches that tackle by Nicholas. So there's David Neri. Here's Kinnaird. He does well to get that in, and it's just passed. It was Hegarty came up. Now, I don't know whether he hurt himself flying in for that or not. And a very good effort. And there is the executive suite of Teledice, the one you don't pay for. Oh, easy one for Leighton. And there goes the halftime whistle brought to an end by that cross and save. A much better game than we saw last week here at uh, Teledice, but like last week, no scoring. I would have thought the highlights of the afternoon were the saves by Billy Thompson. Let me repeat, playing in his 200th Premier Division game and excellent uh, big goalkeeper indeed. 
but allows to take these shots in a way. You know, he stretches out well. And uh, but for that and the fingertips, Aberdeen might have been in the lead. Although that would have been slightly unfair because Dundee United have had their efforts and the pressure. But as I say, it's all come to naught in this first half. And we have a substitute for Dundee United. Alan Evan has come on. Him, his French, who I said had that uh, long spell off after the leg break, hasn't quite come up to standard in this first half or at the end of the first half obviously with tiring and thus we go into the second half with the substitute on Alan Irvin Faulkner Well, neatly done. Here's Evan. Two Alan Evans with a club, I may say. No, no free kick. Neri. McAnally is up. Well, nobody is far right for Dundee United. He walked out of that tight position well. He normally does. Well, again, stretching out. That's a sign of a, a fit man, all right. So it's United. Barging clearly. So free kick to be taken by Faulkner. Evan Bannon is queuing that one. There's a chance for Miller. Oh, he ought to have done better than that. Actually, he probably had a little more time than he assumed. Now watch this, it broke clear to him. It was nobody actually going to come in tight on him. Negative. Well, I think he knew he was going to lose that anyway. Settled for the throw-in. What a pushing and shoving going on there. There's Ferguson. Not a bad effort. And Leighton is wondering what decision has been given. I think he might have thought it was a foul before that uh, Ferguson effort. And this little bit of wrestling going on in there. But no, Ferguson did get behind it. It was a legitimate shot. Hewitt. Oh, great play. Hewitt. No, the shot. Not matching it. Oh. I don't think David Nairi was uh, complaining about the shot. I think he felt that too much latitude had been given. Bannon. Well, that's a 
better looking ball and stretched out for by Malthus, who is as outstanding as he was last Saturday. Now, uh, Evan Bannon. Faulkner. Well, slightly fortunate to get away with that. I thought United had possession. Kinnear. Yes, we got a free cut out of that, and by we, I mean the game does. It's not a bad one, and Hegarty is there, but I think Faulkner. Got the touch first. Conaghy. Over it came. There was a challenge and Faulkner flicking it away. Way wide this time. Ferguson. Oh, William Miller, superb. Really is. Not only did he break that out icily in the box, but counter-attacked immediately. Well now, the play isn't going to be bothering you for a while. You take up something else. The Birdman of Tanadice, Billy Thompson. Bannon. Nobody's there, except Leighton. decision has been given so that's it Clark might just want to take this he does he scores the post